Hello students, welcome to the session. Students, in this class, I want to discuss with you the assignment key. Look at the first question. How many haploid cells are produced at the end of the meiosis? You know that the meiosis 1 produces, suppose take meiosis 1 and also meiosis 2. You know that during meiosis 1, how many cells are produced? 2. In meiosis 2, 2 cells. Together, 4 cells are produced at the end of the meiosis. Together, 4 haploid cells are seen at the end of the meiosis telophase 1 and 2. Together, 4 cells. So, the correct option is 4th one. Moving on to next question. Meiosis involves 2 cycles of nuclear and cell division name them. Meiosis involves two cycles of nuclear and cell divisions. What are they? So, try to collect what are they? So, the meiosis 1 as I discussed in the previous question, meiosis 1 and also the meiosis 2. These are the two major cell divisions that are seen in the meiosis. Here in these two stages, nuclear and cell division along with the nucleus cytoplasm also going to be breakdown. So, division of nucleus is called as karyokinesis. Division of nucleus is called karyokinesis. So, this is the assignment key and uh, let us see the next question, third one. What is meiosis? How can you define meiosis? How can you define meiosis? Meiosis is a one of the cell division process. So, the meiosis division takes place inside the gametes. One more point is meiosis cell division takes place inside the gametes, isn't it? So, that is why meiosis is one of the important process that helps in the formation of gametes. Meiosis occurs in plants as well as humans. In the flower, Pollen grains shows meiosis, even in uh, humans, testis and ovaries shows uh, the meiosis, isn't it? So, gamet, gametes or gametogenesis, you know that gametes performs gametogenesis. With the help of gametogenesis process, by involving meiosis, four new cells are formed four new cells are formed through the meiosis. So, this entire process is called as meiosis. So, during meiosis, generally uh, the division of nucleus is seen which is called as karyokinesis. Along with this division of nucleus, cytoplasm also divides. Most probably 100 to 100 percent meiosis cell division occurs in gametes. Okay, in uh, uh, gametes like uh, male gametes and female gametes. Suppose in humans, testes are male reproductive organs that have that produces sperms. Sperms are produced by the process called gametogenesis. Gametogenesis involves meiosis. In females, ovaries are seen. These ovaries are produce or these ovaries produces or these ovaries helps in the production of ova, which are female gametophytes, produced by the process of gametophyte gametogenesis with the process called meiosis. Moving on to next question. What is the next question? Meiosis involves the pairing of homologous chromosomes. So, option 1 is the correct one. What do you mean by homologous chromosomes? Definitions are very important. Without knowing definitions, you can't understand. How can you define homologous chromosomes? How can you define homologous chromosomes? Chromosomes, suppose take the chromosomes like this. They are looking like this. Chromosomes which are structurally, which are structurally at the same time, functionally same structurally and 
functionally same structurally and functionally same chromosomes which are structurally and functionally same such kind of chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes generally produces homologous genes homologous genes isn't it so anyway meiosis involves the pairing of homologous chromosomes that have similar genes which undergoes for producing similar structural cells similar structural and functional cells moving on to next question meiosis results in dash suppose take the meiosis it results in dash it results in the production of gametes it results in the reduction number of chromosomes it results in the introduction of variations so all these three options are correct it helps in the production of gametes like uh, male gametes we have seen female gametes reduction number of chromosomes number of chromosomes homologous chromosomes and the introduction of variations variations generally occurs in the meiosis cell division what is the reason what do you mean by variation introduction to variation variations means nothing but changes if there are any changes in the homologous chromosomes what will happen new characters will be produced the dissimilar characters are generally produces variations isn't it so these similar characters are otherwise called as a variations which are different from other living organisms and their characters so moving on to next question students so these are the five different questions given in our assignment remaining assignment keys with interesting examples we are going to discuss in the further classes until then be safe have a nice day thank you